our project was to um, to study the association between body mass index uh, and survival in color colorectal cancer. Now, to um, to just put my study into perspective. Um, let me just give a brief overview on how this study actually came about. So while we know that, you know, like uh, obesity or elevated body mass index is uh, associated with increased cancer incidence, um, we don't actually know how much of it or, you know, whether elevated body mass index or obesity in cancer survivor, um, how much the effect is. And, and relevant to survivorship strategies, however, um, results from published meta-analysis using aggregated data of the um, association between BMI and cancer survivor has always been quite inconsistent. Now, one of the major limitations of using aggregated data is actually the inability to take account um, between study heterogeneity and baseline risk, as well as pronostic effects. So to address this problem, uh, we decided to use um, an, individu an individual participant data uh, meta-analysis. Um, so what we did was to assess the association between BMI and uh, overall survivor, as well as uh, disease-free survivor in patients with uh, colorectal cancer. So in terms of the process, we did a systematic review um, in combination with expert knowledge to identify um, all the published randomized controlled trials of patients with non-metastatic uh, colorectal cancer undergoing uh, curative intent treatment. Um, of course, they have to have a, a derivable BMI baseline. Now, our primary and secondary outcomes were overall survivor as well as disease-free survivor, and we use... Um, uh, a one-stage random effects uh, individual participant data meta-analysis um, to account for that. We use uh, the linear Cox regression model as well as the non-linear uh, Cox regression model fitted with a quadratic term to explore the BMI and survival relationship. And what we did was to adjust for the confounders of uh, age, sex, uh, cancer stage, as well as uh, cancer site. So we included more than 9,000 patients from seven eligible trials who are willing to share their um, individual participant data. And we found no evidence of association between BMI um, and overall survivor or disease-free survivor. Now we also did a sex uh, stratified analysis and the results were the same. So we did not find any association between BMI uh, with either you know, uh, overall survivor or disease-free survivor. Now, despite the established link between this elevated BMI and higher incidence of uh, colorectal cancer risk, our findings actually suggest that obesity or elevated BMI is not associated with an inferior survival outcome in patients with non-metastatic uh, colorectal cancer undergoing potentially curative surgery. Although, you know, we can't rule out some of the potential selection bias that might have occurred. Now, we still think that weight management strategies in cancer survivorship programs, um, they are still relevant in improve, improving other outcomes, you know, such as non-cancer uh, deaths.